Hello, my name is Jack Panyard, and I am honored to be a co-leader alongside Jill Fellman of the Interfaith Life Inclusion Initiative here at Temple Emanuel. My wife and I have been members at Temple Emanuel for over a year now, and it is already a place that feels like home to us. Although I am relatively new to the Jewish faith and will be converting in November, this inclusion initiative is something I am extremely passionate about. In today's Haftorah portion from the book of Jonah, Jonah finds himself on the ocean during a stormy sea. However, he is unbothered by the increasingly dangerous winds and rain and sleeps through the tempest. This reminded me of a time earlier this year when I experienced my own personal stormy sea when it came to inclusion in the Jewish community. I was on a bachelor party trip with a mix of college friends as well as some other people I didn't know. One of the individuals I did not know is Jewish and I approached him to introduce myself as well as share my excitement about converting this fall. After a few minutes, the bachelor noticed the two of us talking and commented on how his two Jewish friends had already connected. However, the person I was speaking with replied, well, one real Jew and one fake one. Any and all enthusiasm I had came to a swift halt. I was taken aback at how casually someone I had just met and shared my story with was able to make me feel embarrassed and sad about a choice I had been so excited about. I was shocked that someone who was raised in this community could look down on someone who was choosing to be a part of it. In that moment, I was caught so off guard that I was unable to properly express my disappointment and ended the conversation as soon as possible. Upon reflecting on this experience, this was the moment that I, like Jonah, woke up and realized these preconceived notions and other non-inclusive ideals need to be thrown overboard or out of our community to incite change. Since that conversation, I've made it my mission to always be as welcoming and kind as I possibly could within our community so that no one has to experience the sadness that I felt that day. As part of the Interfaith Life Inclusion Initiative, I am looking forward to taking steps so we can make our community more welcoming for all, whether they were raised in the Jewish faith or chose to be part of it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jill Fellman, and I am one of the co-chairs of the Interfaith Initiative along with Jack. My husband and I have been members of Temple Emmanuel for 25 years. For much of that time, while I knew in my head about Temple Emmanuel's reputation as a welcoming place for interfaith families, I didn't always feel it. To be sure, there were exceptions. I will never forget the comfort I felt when Rabbi Foster asked me how I was feeling at our daughter's bat mitzvah. Then he asked what he could do for the non-Jewish side of the family to be more comfortable and welcome at Temple and our clergy team. Each and every one of you. <laughs> Get a step back. Each and every one of them has made me feel so welcome and included. I truly feel like this is my spiritual home. And yet, on many other occasions, while I suspected intellectually that there were many other non Jews here with me in the sanctuary, Emotionally, I felt like I was the only one, and everyone was staring at me. I wasn't dressed right, I didn't have the right shoes, too much jewelry, not enough jewelry, I could go on and on. Today's Haftorah is from the book of Jonah. At one point, Jonah intentionally disobeys God's command to go to Nineveh, and at another time, it seems like, perhaps unintentionally, he sleeps through his obligations. 
when he fails in his slumbers to recognize that his shipmates are trying frantically to save the ship during the storm. I've never felt like Temple intentionally ignored obligations to its interfaith members, but from time to time I've wondered as a congregation, somewhat like Jonah, if we might be dozing off a bit. That feeling has changed and in a significant way. We had a good start last year with our DEI work. We learned what worked, what didn't, and what we all need to do. This year, one of Temple Emmanuel's inclusion initiatives includes a focus on interfaith life. And I am so honored to be part of that as a co-chair along with Jack. Please, if you are interested, reach out to Jenny Williams or Rabbi Hyatt. The last few years have spurred our temple community to action. When it comes to being open and inclusive, there are many things we have done well, and we've learned that there are many other things we can do better. Jonah eventually got it right, and when it comes to inclusiveness, here at Temple Emmanuel, we will get it right too. Shana Tovah. <laughs>